This is the Steampunk mod pack, a mod pack that's been popping off lately and that many of you might want to know how to install. So I decided I was going to make a video on how to download and install this cool looking mod pack. So yeah, stay around until the end of the video and let's get started with this tutorial. Now, to install this mod pack, we're going to need CurseForge. So the first step is to download and install CurseForge. To do so, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Feel free to read through this guide and look at the screenshots. But if you just want to get right to the point, just scroll down, find a step one and click where it says download CurseForge here i'll bring you over here where you're going to click download a standalone and i'll begin the download for the curseforge installer of course you could always click on more download options and then choose the proper os by default you will download the windows version but if you have mac or linux or linux you will use this one right here or this one right here anyways once you downloaded the installer for curseforge go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop just like so now, the next step is super simple. All you have to do is double click the installer to launch the installation. This is what the installer is going to look like. Right now, you can change the language. I'm going to leave it in English, then click next. Click that you accept the terms. Of course, you can change the installation folder, but if you want to do so, you have to launch the installation as an admin by right clicking it and running it as an administrator. Then go ahead and click next and then just wait for Curveforge to finish installing. Real quick, while Curveforge is installing, I have to let you know that you still have time to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting by using the first link in the description you could create a server that is open 24 7 either a java or a bedrock server and you could even add mod packs to your server with just a one click installation how comfortable is that get the server set up in less than five minutes a server that is hosted online so you don't expose your ip address or your computer resources and your friends could join at any moment something pretty cool about apex hosting is that you could actually control the server console through your phone so you could kick people out change the settings or do whatever you want in your server even if you're not at home i'm gonna leave that first link in the description and let's get back into the tutorial and as we can see curseforce has finally install now the first time you launch it it's going to look a little bit different than mine you might have to click skip intro and then you'll be over here where you're going to select minecraft and then once you select minecraft you're gonna be here in the browse area that is the first time you launch it. it's going to look a little bit different anyways just go ahead and head over to the browse area give it a second for the mod packs to load and if it's taking too long to load you could just click where it says search for minecraft projects and type steampunk just like so and then click enter and as you can see the steampunk will come up you have to make sure it's this one right here i don't know how to pronounce the creator's name but obviously all credits to him or her and then go ahead and click where it says install right here on the right and just wait for the mod pack to install once the mod pack has been installed you will find it here where it says my mod packs obviously give it some time to load so it could add in here i don't know why curse where she's so slow today but yeah you should see the mod pack installing in here and that is where we're going to launch our mod pack every single time because i've gotten comments in the past saying that you launch your minecraft launcher and you don't see the mod pack that you install there that is because you have to launch your minecraft launcher through curseforge every time you want to play this mod pack you're going to open curseforge and you're going to open it through here and that is going to open a different minecraft launcher which is a minecraft launcher that is linked to your curseforge and then you're going to log in through that Minecraft launcher and you're going to have the mod pack in there, guys. That's the way it works. Even if you were to install a mod pack using ModRinth instead of CurseForge, you will still have to log in into a separate launcher. Now, there's another way to do this without having to log in through a launcher or a different launcher or without having to install any extra software. And that is by doing the installation manually. That is by downloading the mod pack manually and installing it manually that is a little bit more complicated not necessarily super hard but that will be a whole different video let me know down in the comments if you would like to know how to install this mod pack by hand or manually and i might make a video on that because that is a different process doing it through curseforge or any other mod pack launcher is just easier it's faster it's safer and there is really not a lot of ways you can mess up while doing it through here and then after a while you will see that the mod pack has installed and all you have to do is now click on play like I was saying earlier, the first time you launch this, it's going to open a different Minecraft launcher. As you can see, it says in here, updating Minecraft launcher and stuff. And then it will open this Minecraft launcher, which you will probably have to log in since it is the first time you are opening it. However, once you log in one time, that's it. You won't have to log in again, even if you're using a different mod pack through CurseForge. Once in here, you will see the mod pack automatically selected. And that is actually the only option that you have besides the regular Minecraft and stuff. So yeah, now all you have to do is click on play. You could always head over to installations and click on the little three dots right next to the mod pack, click on edit, and then click on more options and give it more RAM if needed. This is the megabyte amount. So 4,000 equals four gigabytes of RAM. I recommend that you don't mess with this unless you know what you're doing and you know how much RAM you have on your computer and stuff. For me, four gigabytes of RAM is plenty. So I'm just gonna leave it as default. And then I'm just gonna click on play to show you guys that the mod pack is actually working. Once you click on play, you might have to click that you understand the risk and then click play again and wait for the mod pack to load. 
Now, as you can see, the mod pack just opened and it's actually telling me right here in the loading screen that I should give him more megabytes so, or more gigabytes of RAM. It's actually telling me that the minimum for this mod pack should be five gigabytes and I only gave it four. So yeah, you already know how to change the gigabyte amount. I already told you how to do it. So if that's something that you want to do, go ahead and do it. I'm going to leave it on four gigabytes. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any issues right now. I'm just recording this video. I'm not going to be playing the mod pack right now. So it's just for the video. I'm going to go ahead and launch a single player world. Of course, you could always set up a multiplayer server. If you want to learn how to set up a multiplayer server, let me know down in the comments as well. Maybe if a lot of people need to set up a multiplayer server, I'll probably do a video on this as well. Let's just go ahead and create the world. And as you can see, the mod pack just loaded. And yeah, I, I guess that you could use a little bit more RAM than four gigabytes. This is a heavy load mod pack. But also I'm recording right now. So yeah, I have to understand that if I wasn't recording, this probably would be a smoother experience right now. Let's go ahead and check on the options in here. Let's see the video settings. And this is good because as I can see in here, you could probably add shaders. Yeah, so my frame rates are set to max and I'm, I'm a little bit laggy, I could say. So yeah, I guess even this mod pack more RAM will be recommended. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to done. I installed the Steampunk mod pack. This is a mod pack that's been popping off lately. And I decided I was going to make a video on how to install it for those of you that might want to play this mod pack. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what other mod pack or what other video you would like to see, what other tutorial, and we'll get to work on it. As always, bye bye.